Okay, solid set and turf installation. Here we're talking about PVC pipe. So again, we have to be highly concerned about handling the pipe. We drop PVC pipe, it's brittle, it can crack or shatter. So we have to be careful how we handle it. Also, we have to be careful not to fill it up with a bunch of material. If you're out in a field that's uh, that generally in, in new construction, it's just going to be a field full of powdery dirt. And it's awful easy to fill that pipe up by pushing them around on the ground. And every time you push it, pipe into, away from you, it's going to fill it up with material. So you have to be concerned about keeping the material out of the end of the pipe, again, particularly if you've got gravel in the area. Because that most of the small silt, clay, and sand will flush out of whatever sprinklers you got, but that darn gravel doesn't flush out too good. Or some of the organic material you might get picked up. Pipe connections. We talked about the, on the main line, we talked about the fact that a lot of the bigger pipe is going to be gasket, gasketed pipe, and then you have to use thrust blocks. But as we get into the smaller diameter, the gasketed pipe becomes way too expensive, and also they only make it down to a certain size before you have to go to the solvent weld style pipe. And so when we're looking at putting together pipe with solvent weld, we have to make sure we do it right. So I got a sample here, and we'll just do one joint. Here's a, we'll just put a one inch elbow on a piece of one inch pipe. So when you're dealing with pipe, first thing you do when you get it cut, is you have to make sure there's no burr on the surface of the cut, so that it's clean, the, the surface has to be clean and there can't be any burr of pipe material. So if you've used a saw to cut it, you're going to have pieces of pipe that the, the sawing shavings are going to be there that have to be cleaned off of this. So you can use, if you have a pair of gloves on, you can just do that with your gloves and it'll peel it right off or take a knife and clean it out with a knife. Now, if it's two inch or smaller, you can get away with a solvent well glue called 721 or wet the uh, dr wet dry either one will glue without having to use primer and will be satisfactory particularly on lateral lines if it's a live line where it has pressure 24 hours a day I would be inclined to primer always a live line as well as glue but this glue will adhere well enough to laterals two inch and smaller that you don't have to do the double method of primer and glue. We can get away with just glue and because of the clean and sterile conditions of the lab, I'll just do a quick glue up here for you. And they call it blue glue for obvious reason here, as you'll see. And you don't want to overdo it. The first thing most people want to do is put too much glue on. So you want to just put a nice thin application of glue, the depth of the fitting, in the fitting to the shoulder of the fitting, and then we simply apply it and twist in the process so that we seat it up properly. And if we put the right amount on, we have a really nice clean bead. And we don't even have to wipe it or anything. After you glue a few million joints, you get pretty good at it. And on the inside, you can see again that it's a real nice, clean little bead, and there's not a whole bunch of residual on the inside. Now.